Hello, I'm showing off some additional features of our asset pack Photoscan construction site based off of Scottish Highland rural areas. Starting off, we have some plaster and rough casting models that you can use to blend walls to high potential repetition, as well as allow you to add extra details to walls. We have full meshes as well as cutouts that allow you to create interiors with these models. Here's a quick overview of the meshes. This is our rough casting mesh. For now, it's just a decorated wall, but I'm making more modular pieces for corners, windows, short walls, and doorways soon. It can work both as an interior and exterior wall. Our mesh library offers Lego-like modularity with our Photoscan assets. This brick is used for foundations. Its design can be very versatile and will allow you to create any rectangular shaped building at any scale. This also includes our gray bricks as well. Each with its own material for maximum control, we assemble these in real life and then Photoscan them too. You can build authentic walls and structures with these meshes alone. Their pivot point is strategically placed at the end of the mesh to allow seamless copy-paste maneuvers without having to realign it too often. This makes it easy to control the flow of your build without slowing down the artist. The same level of consideration went into all of our assets, including the granite walls and barriers that you'll see later on. We have long walls, short walls, windows, doors, both closed and open variations so you can get really creative and truly build whatever you want. You can in fact also build a castle with this asset pack alone. You can see that I'm just copy pasting the assets, moving them and building out an authentic looking highland cottage with ease. Each asset offers incredible amounts of detail and it really isn't expensive to render at all as the shaders are cheap and everything is geometry based. Here's our rough casting mesh again. This will be expanded on and improved in due time to work with windows and doorways. We have an amazing collection of rubbish pals, all photo scan and with more to come in the near future through free bi-weekly updates. It's detailed, we offer multiple variants and our shader allows you to change it completely to blend it with the environment. Our bridge is completely photo scanned. A little limited at this time, but we will be expanding on this to give artists more control and flexibility. It is made up of three parts, the bridge, walls, and concrete panel for the edges. To expand the walls, simply copy paste it and scale it up. It's not conventional, but this will be improved in due time. We also have this second variant that also works as a tunnel. This one's modular, so it can be as wide and long as you wish. It is made up of two walls, a ceiling and if there's a bridge above it, then we can use both our dirt road meshes and this Photoscan cobblestone path mesh. Our houses are completely modular. They are not standalone drone scans. Everything comes apart. From windows to walls, support beams, bricks, everything. Here I am moving the rooftop beams. Each part is made up of different scans to offer full artistic control and direction. Insulation, tarp, steel beams, even this brick pillar has an interior. Everything's just a Lego piece that brings this amazing structure to life. Even our acro jacks are modular. Scan each one separately so you can adjust the height of it with ease. Our little shed here was also completely assembled from random scraps right here in engine that merged into a prefab. Again, everything was individually photo scanned. This goes to show that there really is no limitation to our packs. You can turn this shed into a longer one. You can even make this an industrial chicken cube if you really need to. Our map is completely static and everything is geometry based. The roads were baked out from splines since it was made in 5.3, when then I did not support dynamically deforming actors. And since everything is geometry based, including the grass, we needed to make sure that the entire map is rendered with nanite for performance. The cables you see around the map is from the engine content library with the built-in cable plugin system. Our modular Photoscan scaffolding models, which is also a standalone asset pack on FAB, come apart completely as well. Legs are replaceable and its height can be adjusted. The platform that connects the scaffoldings together also comes in two variations. Each metal bars are separate models packed into level prefabs. We have a video dedicated to a scaffolding pack that you can find the link to in the description. We have a large variety of tarps. Some models were baked into specific models around the map, but are genuinely quite modular. 
I'll make a video on how you can bake your own with our tart models. At this time, we have 14 tarps. Some were baked for very specific areas, as I said before, and others can be placed around wherever you wish. Have a look through the library and have fun with it. All the models are linked to one material with one albedo and one normal map. We have all kinds of detail and props, with more to come in the near future. We always expand on existing packs. We have cement mixers, empty skips, so you can fill it up with any asset, brick piles, wooden pallets, everything you need for an authentic construction site. And as I mentioned earlier, our barriers have a unique pivot point location and lines up with the hook on the side. Set your pivot points to be local, snap and grid size to be either 1 or 5, and copy paste your barriers with ease, just like our brick walls. Alright, thank you for watching. We ran into some trouble with Fab's Marketplace server and therefore couldn't get the download links to work, but this has been resolved and the asset pack will be available in the Marketplace over the weekend as of the 18th of April 2025.